The Renaissance. The Middle Ages were dark and dismal times for Europe. For centuries, people didn't give much thought to art or culture. But in the 14th century, Artists and scientists began to appear once more in Italy. This was the beginning of the Renaissance, which means rebirth. The model for the Renaissance was ancient Greece and Rome. Artists tried to copy the styles from those times. Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo and Botticelli reinvented the art of painting. Portraits were of particular importance. Mm -hmm. great leaps forward. Until that point, the little scientific knowledge there was came from the East. Thanks to the development of studies in anatomy, people began to understand the human body more. Oh. Scientists learned to observe nature and came up with new inventions. Some traveled far and wide and explored unknown lands. Imagining he was traveling to India, Christopher Columbus discovered a new continent, America. Interest in art and philosophy spread across the world thanks to a man called Gutenberg, who invented the printing press. A Dutchman, Erasmus from Rotterdam, proposed a new kind of thought called humanism. In this, man became the center of the universe. Artists started signing their works of art, and the first modern biographies were written. Trade also flourished at this time. <laughs> Great Italian families such as the Medici's controlled the sea routes and international trade. <laughs> and became the patrons of artists and scientists. The Renaissance was an era of transformation, a rebirth of the arts and sciences. <laughs> Western society left the ignorance of the Middle Ages behind as it slowly moved towards a new era, the modern age. <laughs> 